Let's talk about fluency and phrasing. What exactly is phrasing? Whenever you model reading fluency, you practice a certain level of phrasing. Phrasing is when we group certain words together to help us with the movement of the language that we're saying. A lot, I, I remember when I first heard of phrasing, it was involving Shakespeare. And how you learn Shakespeare, you learn by doing phrasing. But soft what light through yonder window breaks, and you, you do the whole phrase until you get to the end of the image before you go to the next phrase, right? Well, well the same thing, phrasing can be used uh, the same way for practicing reading. It's helping chunking up phrases so that we get the phrases to go together. Like this one here says phrasing, chunking or scooping words together into a meaningful phrase. So it's not choppy, it's more reading words in phrases, not one at a time. So it's trying to, it's re, it's trying to help with that um, proper uh, speed, expression, intonation. You're not talking monotone. It's allowing, uh, allowing for when you speak in phrasing and when you model phrasing, you're not breaking the ideas apart, right? So this is one of those great strategies that you model all the time in the early grades to help a student with reading fluency.